Guillaume Lison, Brown Sugar's owners. Yeah, sure. Brown Sugar was established around 1998. Uh, it spreads from camping right up to private en suite, single double en suite, family rooms. We have large dormitories, but it's mainly for our school groups. We have a lot of school groups that come to Johannesburg for educational tours. We can sleep around about 65, 70 people. Um, the focus changed from dormitories and big rooms to more private. Most of the travelers these days prefer private, ensuite, comfortable. More comfortable, but still very affordable. Well, we offer quite a broad spectrum, myself being a nice, a, a, experienced traveler, you know what you want in the place. So we've got internet, Wi-Fi, we've got a uh, team on site, we've got lockers in the rooms, private safes. We include a very nice breakfast, which is a buffet-like type of breakfast. It's not a slap dash like it used to be in the old days. We have uh, our own drivers and vehicles for transport. We have a pickup point for Bass Bus. Uh, we do also a free pickup if you stay with us. We pick you up for free at the airport at uh, Oatambo and at the bus station. We've got in house tour guide that does our Soweto and local tours. It's very popular. You eat together, you drink together, you have fun together. And that's what backpacking is about because living in a hotel means that you're separated from everything. But being at a backpackers means that you get to meet everyone, you get to meet people who can give you advice on where to go, where to stay, different experiences that you can have in the country. The backpackers is a living organism. It changes all the time. You will come here today, tomorrow it will be different. But that's what's nice about the backpacking industry. We grow with the times. And it means that you spend less on where you're sleeping because yeah. you just want to be able to get there, get into your bed, wake up in the morning and live your life and travel the country and see as much as possible.